this video, I will be asking ChatGPT to create a rocket that can get to orbit in SFS. Last video, I did this with KSP2, but given that KSP2 is a 3D game, ChatGPT definitely had some struggles. But can ChatGPT understand Space Flight Simulator better than Kerbal Space Program? That is for us to find out. First, to simplify things, instead of telling ChatGPT that each square in the build scene is 0.25 meters, we can simply tell it that each square equals one unit. From there, we can go on to explain that the size of each fuel tank is proportionate to how much mass and how much liquid fuel each one has. From there, we can list all the sizes of fuel tanks and move on to other parts. For parts like separators, I'm not going to tell ChatGPT the separation force because it really doesn't need to know this when choosing what parts it needs to use. For the engines, however, that becomes a completely different story. Every detail such as the mass, thrust, and efficiency is really important for ChatGPT to understand how many engines it takes to lift the rocket. Now that we've given ChatGPT a fair amount of parameters, let's let it loose so it can build its first rocket. So I plugged the information into ChatGPT and it gave us instructions for a 10 step rocket. So let's go ahead and build it. Firstly, start by placing a 12 by 16 fuel tank on the bottom of the build grid. Then place an 8 by 1 separator on top of that and place a Titan engine on top of the separator. Next, attach four 16 by 6 fuel tanks to the bottom of the first stage using four 8 by 1 separators. Attach another Titan engine to the bottom of the second stage and put another four by one separator on top of the Titan engine. Attach two 16 by 6 fuel tanks to the bottom of the third stage using two 8 by 1 separators. Attach a Frontier engine to the bottom of that. Lastly, place a four 4x2 probe as well as a capsule on top of the rocket. Now, I don't know about you, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out that this rocket is definitely not gonna fly. See, what we really need to do is tell ChatGPT about more parameters, like how fuel doesn't flow through separators, or that putting fuel tanks under engines would cause the fuel tanks to burn. Now, in my next message to ChatGPT, I've listed way more parameters than that to try to explain how rockets are built in SFS. Now, with all these parameters in mind, let's see what ChatGPT made for its second rocket. We start by placing a 4x2 probe at the top of the build area, followed by a 4x4 fuel tank, and followed by a 4x6 fuel tank. Connect a 4x1 separator below that, and place a Valiant engine below the separator. Next, place an 8x2 fuel tank, followed by a 6x1 separator. Place a Hawk engine below that, and connect a 10x4 fuel tank below the Hawk engine. Then attach a 12x1 separator under the fuel tank, and place a Titan engine along with a 10x8 fuel tank under that. And finally, add the capsule at the Bottom? So ChatGPT is clearly very confused. It keeps doing things like putting engines under separators and putting capsules at the bottom of the rocket, and I don't know why it's doing that. So basically, we're going to add more constraints to explain to ChatGPT why it's bad to do these things. And in fact, it didn't take long at all until we got a promising rocket. So the first stage contains a Titan engine with a few six wide fuel tanks on it. The second stage contains a Frontier engine with a few six wide fuel tanks on it. The third stage contains a Valiant engine with two four wide fuel tanks on it. And the fourth and final stage contains a Colibri engine with two fuel tanks on it, as well as a capsule and the probe. Now this is what we were waiting for. The only question left is can this rocket actually get into orbit? So let's not waste any more time and let's figure that out. I gotta admit, even though the thrust to weight ratio is 2.11 for the first stage, which is a little bit high, it really nailed the rocket proportions in every stage. However, using a Frontier engine on the second stage was a little bit of an issue because it literally makes the TWR exactly one. But you'll see the rocket still does make it to orbit and we didn't even have to use the third or fourth stage at all. Which begs the question, was ChatGPT planning on going somewhere else? Perhaps the moon? I bet we can get this rocket there. Now that we're in very low Earth orbit, we can start going to the moon. The second stage burnt out just a little bit after orbit, so now we switch to the third stage. From the third stage, this will take our trajectory all the way to the moon. From there, we can time warp to the moon and continue using the second stage to slow down. Now that we're in an orbit of the moon, we can get lower and closer to the surface. Give it a little bit of time and a little bit more slowing down, and we finally touch down on the moon. The initial plan was just to get to orbit, but ChatGPT made a rocket that can get to the moon perfectly and it's absolutely awesome that is all for this video i will see you later